Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to use issue search tools in Microsoft Dynamics Lifecycle Services. Issue search tool is a great tool provided by Microsoft. It is on Microsoft Dynamics Lifecycle Services and it is available for Microsoft partners and customer source. So uh, some of these points I have written, we'll go through, uh, we'll talk quickly through these points and then we're going to go on Microsoft Dynamics Lifecycle Services website and execute each one of these and see what kind of results we get. So the first is issues rela related to Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009, uh, 2012, 2012 R2 as well as R3. Any update that Microsoft has released, released to fix some known issues in terms of KBs, that's there and the deta detail of that particular KB, what has changed in terms of code um, and in terms of uh, all the obje objects that a particular KB is touching in, in uh, Microsoft Dynamics AX application. Some of the known issues that's reported and if they are resolved, uh, it's, uh, uh, the resolution would be there and uh, there are some issues that has workarounds and hasn't been re uh, resolved in particular one KB for the whole application and that's there as well. So there are some pending issues. Uh, you can see that um, if your particular issue is pending and Microsoft is working on that and also the issues that Microsoft will not work on, maybe it is going to be fixed in the next KB. Uh, something like that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, go um, in Microsoft Dynamics Lifecycle Services and see how this great tool can help us. All right, uh, right here is Microsoft Dynamics Lifecycle Services URL. So you're going to go ahead and sign in. Again, this is only available for Microsoft customers and partners. All right, this is my project. In order to get to issue search, uh, you can use this tool section up here. As you can see right here is the issue search. If you don't see issue search in your tool section, you can click on this little arrow and go to the issue search from here, which is right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on issue search. As you can see right here, it, it uh, first thing it tells you is excuse me, enter a key keyword, KB number, AOT object, uh, that is application object tree object, this is um, uh, X++ plus plus code, if you're having any issue related to a particular object, element, or a method, you can go ahead and basically type like this dollar and object type and classes, and this is uh, up here in little gray, they have an um, uh, example to do that. So what we're going to do, first we're going to search on a particular, just a text-based issue like I have, I'm having an issue printing report. So I'm going to search for that if there are resolution to that particular issue. So my issue would be reporting issues, maybe SSR as reporting issues. As you can see that we got 119 results in this particular video my motto is my uh, main main focus is that uh, we're going to go ahead and minimize uh, these results because 119 results are a lot of results that you will go through to find your particular issue so we're gonna go ahead and use this left side up here and go through the filters and apply the filters so that we can narrow down our result up here result set and maybe get closer to our uh, issue so first is um, the status if uh, it's all open resolved workarounds and will not be fixed first thing that I would always recommend you that you go ahead and look in resolved you unclick this resolved issue maybe that issue your particular issue is resolved but if it doesn't come in that particular search then you're gonna go ahead and um, uh, do the open ones or will not be fixed so I'm gonna go ahead and do resolve and workarounds next is the product which version of the product Dynamics AX you're using uh, if it's AX R2 uh, AX 2012 uh, AX 2009 you need to select that 
don't select all because you will get a lot of results in category up here the product issue category if you expand category right here you will see that it's a general finance related if your um, industry is basically manufacturing industry you're gonna go ahead and uncheck all that and just keep one manufacturing industry or if it's a public sector you can click on public sector <coughs> excuse me and the modules up here uh, these are the modules available in Microsoft Dynamics AX so if you are having issue with a particular module let's say that I'm having issue with human resource module I'm gonna go ahead and click on human resource and then up here there is a configuration keys if you expand configuration keys up here there is a, a account payable all these configuration related uh, that uh, you need to narrow it down you need to uh, uncheck this and let's say that um, the configuration key keys are related to the um, what we have selected up here human resources you can select that human resources one two and three since it'll narrow down your results so uh, next thing this is pretty big uh, the countries so far it's uh, like 61 countries uh, you need to find out which country basically that your, uh, um, um, your particular entity reside and select that country because of uh, uh, some uh, rules and regulations uh, all these countries have different rules and regulation especially in taxes and all that if you have uh, human resources so it m must be different in United States it might be different in France so you need to narrow it down you need to uncheck all this and let's say that, that you're just um, your issue is um, all the modules that you're concerned about is in United States you're gonna go ahead and click United States once you do all that filter you're gonna go ahead and hit the search again as you can see right here from 119 we came down to 51 results so that's not bad so what I'm gonna do is first you need to now look if that issue right here is there right here let's say that this is my issue so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that This, the, uh, it, this is great right here that it'll tell you the problem and sometimes in problem feature exact error you will see up there but uh, you don't have to put exact error right here uh, you can uh, go ahead and just put a partial error and it'll try to get the results as close as it can so uh, right here is um, mitigation and how you will resolve this issue so this is a one way that you can look at your issue and you can uh, uh, find out the resolution workaround of your particular issue using this great tool. So next thing uh, we're going to do is up here it says uh, a solution uh, uh, 16 and at uh, that number. What well, next thing what we're going to do is find out uh, let's say that they, Microsoft has released a KB uh, in order to fix some known issues and you would like to uh, see what that uh, particular KB uh, what known issues it resolves what changes it makes in your particular application and all that great um, information that you would like to know before you basically implement anything on production so we're gonna go ahead and do that um, put KB up here let's say this KB was released from Microsoft and we would like to know more detail about this KB so we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the KB number up here and click on search and this K particular KB is related to the issue performance issue with posting uh, payment uh, journal after installing this particular KB for 1099 s so what we're gonna go ahead and do click on this and find more detail as I was telling you in the beginning that um, it'll give us a lot more information the hot fixes that's available to fix this and the changes we would like to know that where it's going to make changes some of the affected objects you will see right here from the AOT and uh, dependent object in AOT will be this you would like to see what changes it it does in terms of code you can go ahead and click on view changes and as you can see right here this is vendor settlement tax 1099 up here 
uh, this is the one of the object and and right here is uh, the code changes that it does so we're gonna go ahead and click on text 10, 1099 field so uh, right here is the property date field is gonna be this so we're gonna go ahead and look at any other field up here if it's making changes to that particular field as you can see that you can go through uh, some of the um, up here vendor settlement that's where it's making most of the changes some of the schema changes right here so basically this is how you can use issue search Microsoft themselves um, their support team uses this uh, issue search tool at the first step defense and a um, uh, lot of folks basically use and use this tool and post their uh, known issues and if they have resolved the issues Microsoft go ahead and basically update that there too so this is a great tool to use I would encourage you to start using this tool as your um, first uh, issue search tool I hope it helps